Apparently, this is Godzilla and King Kong's world, and we just ah. live in it. Because leading into its opening weekend this past weekend, the official box office projections for it were high. 50 to 55 million, which would have made it the fourth film in March to open to 45 million or higher. It would have been the biggest opening for the MonsterVerse in the last couple of films that they did. It would have been a pure success for them if it did open to that 50 to 55 million. Ray, Aura, the <laughs> Oracle, called 65 million, maybe higher. Asked me, I said, no. I think it'll come in around the 50 to 55. I mean, I won't, I won't be shocked if it gets 65, 70, but I'm going to th say 50 to 55. Forget all that. Forget all that. <laughs> Godzilla plus one, according to NBang there. Godzilla X Kong with a projected opening week in box office of 50 to 55 million absolutely annihilated the box office projections with an 80 million dollar <laughs> opening projected 50 to 55 actually open to 80 million dollars and by the way that 80 million dollars is the sunday projected the actuals the the actuals usually come in very 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 close to the sunday projections but the actuals will come out a little bit later today maybe it might be a million or two higher maybe a million or two lower but 80 million dollars is what they're calling right now now to put that in context that would make Godzilla X Kong the number two opening weekend of the year so far. And by the way, we're already a quarter of the way through 2024. Time is flying. If we go look at this chart here. So Kung Fu Panda right now is the third biggest opening of the year at $57.9 million. Godzilla X Kong as the number two biggest opening weekend of the year at $80 million. Just coming $2.5 million behind uh, what I think is the best film of the last 10 years or so, Dune Part 2, with an 82 Point five million dollars. Now, look to kind of recap. Godzilla X Kong is a very stupid movie. <laughs> it is. It's a very stupid movie, and that's why when you look on Rotten Tomatoes, it has like a fifty nine percent. I get it. I I totally get it. There is some can't suspend my disbelief for that. That line of dialogue was stupid. Why on earth are these people doing that? There was a lot of that. So I got no qualms with anybody who did not like the movie. I had. Santa Claus bags fulls of funds. <laughs> All the funds. I had so much funds watching this movie. I mean, I was just, I mean, I, between the face palming with some of the dialogue that would come out of it to the absolute glorious glee seeing one kaiju suplex another. Um, I got to tell you, it, it was just something special. And also, see Kong reign supreme. Knocked Godzilla out. <laughs> Knocked him out cold. And then, uh, and anyway. You can see how helpless Godzilla is with his shorter arms when they're on land. When they were in the sea, yeah. Kong was Oh, no. He, Kong, he, no was Kong in the water? Are you kidding me? Yeah. Give me a break. It's 1-1 uh, one, one now, I think. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not a lot of ground and pound coming from Kong, from, coming from Godzilla. But, but I'm telling you, man, watching on the big screen, there's a shot in the trailer where the two of them are kind of standing face to face above an Egyptian pyramid and they both do their roars. Seeing that, as ridiculous and dumb as that is, seeing that on the big screen, <laughs> I got chills. I got Zillow and Kong with a Yeah, I had a blast. And you know what? <laughs> Say what you will about all the things in this movie that are dumb, because there is a lot. The audience we were in I can't speak to the audience you saw the movie with, the rest of you, but the audience Ray and I saw this movie with was having a blast. <laughs> the first person that I overheard when we walked out of the doors to do the out-of-theater review was some dude was telling his wife, uh, that was a 10 out of 10 for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Heard a little bit of that. You know, you know what you're As getting she rolled into. her eyes. You know what you're getting into when you get these movies. You know what you're getting so, into. You are the, not yeah. getting Godzilla minus one. That, and I'll tell you what, I, and I say this unabashedly, when it comes to the one kind of thing in the movie, the, the excitement, the action, this blows Godzilla Minus One out of the water. Godzilla Minus One is the better movie overall. Okay. Like, make no mistake about it. I, I'm not saying otherwise. Godzilla Minus One is the better movie overall. But when it comes to the action stuff, come on. Yep. I mean, I, I just had a, a total blast with this. There's a scene in it where Godzilla... 
does some Ray was talking about it last week. I, I won't say what it was. Those of you who saw the movie know what we're talking about. Does something that for the first time in my life watching a Godzilla movie made me go, Aw, Godzilla is <laughs> adorable. Like I've never said that before. But they, they did it and then they called back to it later on again and it was just as awesome the next time. I, I'm telling you, man, it was an eighty million dollars. Incredible. It was like it, it's going to be the kids that are going to push this movie over. We are at our screening at four o'clock, which is fairly early. Uh, half of the theater was like, uh, like you know, f- looked like just kids like going to watch a movie. Uh, like uh, I mean, there was just a lot of adults there. There was a lot of whatever. Now, one of the things that we kind of called because this was also Ghostbusters, Frozen Empire, second weekend. And we all said, yeah, this is going to take a greater than 65% or a greater than 60% drop. What happened? Um, and certainly it did. It took a 65.1% drop, Ooh. but still coming in number two on the weekend, uh, making 15.7. Dune Part 2 has now officially crossed the $600 million mark. It's it's now at six hundred and uh, $626 million that it has made, right in the range that I kind of thought it would make in its overall run. I, I, there's no chance it's going to get to eight. That was, no I chance. Think it's, oh, no, wow. no chance it gets it to eight. eight's gonna get eight. No, no, no. I, 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 I never really thought eight was a real possibility a for this. What was the percentage now. of drop from the weekend before for Dune? For Dune, does it say? Oh. 36 percent. That's a pretty great hold. Pretty yeah, hold. No, and it's hold, been that it's, ever yeah. since the second yeah. weekend. It's been like in the thirties or twenties. Yes, it, it's week to week drop. It could get. It could inch yeah, to seven hundred kind of though. It could inch to seven hundred. It's possible, but in, after five weeks yeah. in there, it's still number three at the box office after five weeks. But today, the story is Godzilla and Kong. And I'm going to tell you right now. Guys, we want to take a moment and thank a sponsor of today's video, Mint Mobile. After years of fine print contracts and getting ripped off by overpriced wireless providers, if we've learned anything, is that there's always a catch. So when I heard that for a limited time, all Mint Mobile wireless plans are $15 a month when you purchase a three-month plan, I thought, what's the catch? But after talking to them, it all made sense. There isn't one. Mint Mobile's secret sauce is that they sell wireless services online. They cut out the cost of retail stores and pass those sweet savings on to you. And guys, you know, ever since... Since I switched over to Mint Mobile, I am spending less than one third on my wireless bills than I used to with one of the major carriers. So say goodbye to your overpriced wireless plans, jaw dropping monthly bills and unexpected overages. All plans come with high speed data and unlimited talk and text delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your phone number along with your existing contacts. So guys, to get this new customer offer and your new three month unlimited wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month, go to mintmobile.com slash campia that's mintmobile.com slash campia cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia 45 dollar upfront payment required equivalent to 15 dollars a month new customers on first three month plan only speed slower above 40 gigabytes on unlimited plan additional taxes fees and restrictions may apply see Mint Mobile for details rob if there wasn't already the paper has been signed <laughs> to green light Godzilla Kong three monster verse seven, whatever it is they're going to do. I, I, I guarantee you that they're, this thing is going Rob. First of all, did you even have a chance to get, Godzilla? Oh, I did. Okay, yes. so I, You and I have not talked about it yet. No. What okay. did you think about it? And what do you think about an $80 million opening? For okay. It? Here's the thing. When I go into a Godzilla movie, you got to go in there with the right state of mind. Like I already got my Godzilla minus one, even minus color. I already got my erudite, soulful, like art house Godzilla movie, which I never thought I'd get. I got that. So I, this is not what I wanted from Godzilla <laughs> X Kong, the new empire. I wanted to see some kaiju action. I wanted to see some ridiculousness. I wanted to have fun, you know, but, and I got that. The one thing that my biggest complaint about this ridiculously stupid movie that I loved watching, I don't like the fact they're doing Godzilla dirty in these movies. These movies are clearly all about King Kong. They're all about elevating King Kong. I think they're racist. I think they're specious. I think Godzilla gets done dirty. Remember, aliens never wanted to borrow King Kong for anything. Aliens borrowed Godzilla and Rodan in two different movies. But and I'm like, I'm like, I'm looking at Kong. How can you say the first one did Godzilla dirty? How can you say that? Because the first one, you didn't see Godzilla enough. No, sure, sure. By first, I mean the first Godzilla Kong, Kong. movie. Oh. He kind of okay. got, they, they elevated him Still over Kong though, in that God, movie. King Kong got his own realm. He's got the. 
I, I think it is fair to I, I think it is fair to say that Godzilla X Kong is more of a Kong centered. Yeah, movie. this is an American thing, man. But Godzilla was elevated, I think, over Kong a bit in the it, first one. It actually made Godzilla look maybe, more impressive. Maybe they made Godzilla very. I'm, Kong saying, really I'm just thing. saying. See, Kong's always been a lover, a tragic romantic hero. That's what Kong has always been. Ever so, I'll go back to Willis O'Brien's King Kong. You go all the way back. He's always been a tragic, romantic figure. I do not like the fact they're trying to elevate his status and make him something he's not. Well, I don't like favorite it. Part? He's I don't a like king. It. He is king. He is king. Dude, my favorite Kong. My, okay, my name. favorite part, even though I knew it was coming, when he's got his an Infinity Gauntlet. Right. I mean, I just thought that was hilarious because it, <laughs> I was laughing. It, so it, dumb, but so awesome. It, it, it <laughs> harks back. It even harks back to because like Mecha Kong back from the original <laughs> Toho 60s. So I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, OK, look, if you watch my go back on YouTube and watch my Godzilla King of the Monsters review, I'm jumping out of my chair. I was so excited. This was just <laughs> kind of like that. I also want to point out, John, I'd be remiss. We were talking about this earlier, but. The executive producer of this film, yes. who's a, a, a fan of this show, producer Roy Lee, uh, he had two victories this weekend because not only was he a producer on this movie, not only did he have the foresight to get all these great, the ring, Gore Verbinski's, the ring came out in 4K a, a week ago, but he also is a producer of Late Night with the Devil, which, by the way, perhaps not one, two, or three, but it's IFC and Shudder's biggest theatrical release, and it barely dropped from its second week, first week to second week in the theater. He also produced that. And uh, Late Night with the Devil shows that not only can Roy Lee produce these giant, dumb, fun movies, he can also make these erudite, elevated horror that delivers the goods. He gets the best scripts in town. The guy can do it all. By the way, uh, just a, a little footnote on Late Night with the Devil. In its opening weekend, it made uh, $2.8 million. This weekend, in its second weekend, it only took a 22% drop right. uh, to 2.2. So it's made about $6 million overall, which is good for them. But That's a banger. By the way, back, the movie's a banger. Back to Godzilla X Kong. I think one of my favorite moments, and giving away a couple of minor moments here for those of you who haven't Guys, it's, again, this is Godzilla X Kong. There is no spoiler to And it. by the way, how many human but, beings do you think died in this movie? That's what I was saying. Oh, Ray, Ray People said, are like, a lot of people died. I gotta tell movie. you, I'm, I, next time someone talks about Man of Steel and gets all mad, like, there's so much collateral damage. I'm like, oh, uh, l let's see. Uh, Godzilla X Kong says, hold my beer. Yeah, <laughs> but one of my favorite moments, I don't know why, but so God, so Kong realizes, okay, we got Scar King, we got Shimo. Is that how you pronounce it? Shimo, Sh Shimu, whatever. Shimon. Shima. I don't know. <laughs> Down there, and he's like, okay, I, I cannot deal with this threat to the planet myself. I'm going to have to get the the asshole who lives up top. I love the way the movie says they got their own turf. Godzilla's right. here, yep. Kong's here. As long as they don't cross paths, everything's fine. He's like, damn it, I got to go get the asshole. I got to go get that dude. So he goes up, and I just love it because he's up there, and Kong, Godzilla senses Kong, so he's pissed. Like you're in my turf now. Yeah. He's coming, and the way so he's charging at Kong, and Kong's just like he's trying to point at the holes. Like no, 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 no you don't understand. <laughs> like, I don't know why I thought that was like the funniest thing. Because it was hilarious. <laughs> because he's trying to explain to Godzilla, no, wait, I we need to, and then the big fight breaks out. I will also, John. I will say that this movie, Adam Wingard was very aware that we don't need people talking. Like, just stop talking. Yeah, because when they did, it was stupid. Give people what they want, and let's just see some monster foo, and we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we're going to get down the way only they can. And the, the death count, the one scene in particular that got me was, where I probably was the only one in the theater thinking about it, was when the top of the skyscraper, uh, I think Scar threw it. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Got, yeah, that's like, in the trailer. And then yeah. and, and King Kong was going to... Yeah, that's I in was the trailer. Like, was I the only one thinking, hey... There's some people in that building Living that didn't get the, out, and they're the fly, a flying building. projectile. <laughs> just got punched out. Turned by... to vapor. Oh, oh my. Okay, who, oh. whose idea was it that says, you know, what's going to be the precipice that gets this story rolling? A toothache. Yeah, yeah. That's that's <laughs> that's going to be our spark. That's hey. our that's our story spark to get the thing going. During a, a my toothache. dentist week too. It was perfect. Hey. I was anyway. like, I know how that feels. Guys, question is for you. Godzilla X Kong makes $80 million, making it the biggest opening 
bar the original 2014 Godzilla, but out of all the MonsterVerse movies, this is the biggest opening they've had, massively destroyed the box office projections for it. Makes it the second biggest opening of the year so far. How do you guys think about, does that surprise you? Were you surprised like me that it made that much? Maybe you weren't surprised at all. Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.